Hello, my beautiful water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So water signs, I'm here checking into your June, okay? Yay! Honestly, your energy feels incredible in June, okay? I feel like you go through some kind of shift. You rise from some kind of ashes here, like you, you feel so much better. You feel light as a feather. You feel happy, okay, and free. It's amazing energy. Anyway, you guys, just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. When the cards came out, I'm like, ooh. And I also heard um, heart of gold, too. So um, you have a heart of gold, you guys. And you know what? That is true. Um, you, you're, you have such a pure heart. Um, I feel like uh, you're, I, something's happening with you spiritually in June. Okay, it almost feels like a double crowning. I'm also seeing this as wings. So I feel like, um, and it's giving me like moon goddess energy. Okay, you being blessed um, in a major way, spiritually being blessed on the, on the 3D. And I feel like your blessings, um, this is a blessing that comes, like they put it within you. Okay, to... Um, I don't know, help your glow. I'm also seeing you as absolutely stunningly beautiful. Something about what they do, <clears throat> I don't know, internally. It's an, it's, a, it's an internal change. Okay, not a change like around you on the 3D. This is all like internally. Spirit is, um, I don't know, cleansing you, purifying you, it feels like, from any of the ashes from the past. Okay? Um, cause you do feel very free here. All right. And, um, I feel like they're giving you like this huge amount of confidence. Um, and they could even be healing you somehow. Like, um, you could, you could be, say you have a cold or something right now. You're going to, you're going to feel so much better. Um, like after tomorrow, a few more days from now, you know, I mean, definitely go to the doctor if you think something is wrong, N always go to the doctor, right? But I just feel like it's such a healing energy and it's, it's healing you emotionally. Okay. Um, it's freeing your mind to possibilities. Um, it's, um, it's helping you to see everything clearly. Um, and I feel like, too, it's there's something that happens with your, like, the outside of you, you know, um, the maybe um, physically, right, at the same time. Because all of a sudden, you're, you're walking into a room and, like, everyone turns around and, like, stares at you, okay? Or, I don't know, people just want to talk to you, gravitate towards you. You're going to be giving off such a bright light, in june i feel like you're a light worker divine feminine i'm feeling like too there's masculines out here masculine water signs you guys smell amazing i don't know what it is <laughs> you know i caught a whiff of that earlier on here and um oh my gosh people are going to think that you smell amazing there's going to be something about your scent that attracts people in okay and divine feminine i feel like it's it's like a glow a radiance about you that is attracting other people i don't know what this is all about but <clears throat> yeah just take what resonates and you guys my throat chakra is going crazy so i feel like a lot of people are going to want to talk to you they're going to want to be around you they're going to be so attracted to you, you guys. Oh my gosh. In June, you could be, you could have been working out recently and like there's been changes to your physique for both, whether you're masculine or feminine. I'm picking up on both masculine and feminine energies here. Divine masculine, divine feminines. Okay. Let's read the cards though. All right, Phoenix Feather, I am reborn through the fire. No matter my history or circumstances, I rise above. I soar with strength and determination. When faced with adversity, I overcome. I am the beauty rising from the ashes. This is two, um, so far, two mentions of being beautiful. 
you know, extremely attractive, alluring. I want to say you're alluring. That's what it feels like. I feel like um, masculine energies there. Um, I don't know, something about the masculine's, divine masculine's essence or uh, something about their scent, okay, is very alluring. And something about your radiance, divine feminine, that's extremely alluring. I don't know what it is. And you're, I feel like you're going through this transformation, but it's all like emotional transformation, okay? Spiritual transformation. Yeah, happy heart. I have a happy heart. Today will be full of joyful moments waiting for me to discover. My gratitude overflows from my inner self to those around me. And that's what I'm talking about. It's almost like you feel so good in June that radiant energy it just flows flows out from you and everybody takes notice of you in June okay like everybody you may even be aware of it it may make you feel a little bit like I don't know <clears throat> um odd I feel like a lot of you could be like you could be the kind of person who just you know keeps to yourself a lot or, you know, you like to maybe stay inconspicuous or something. But, man, everywhere you go in June, you're going to um, get somebody's attention, okay? It's almost like you, you, the feminines and the masculines are giving off these different kind of vibes that together they mesh very well together. And I just, I don't know, it... <laughs> I'm I'm smelling off of you, Divine Feminine, like a um, coconut oil kind of thing, or oils in general. I, you may be um, putting a lot of oils on your skin, you know, um, smelling like it's either floral scents or like coconutty, beachy scents, okay? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like you're rising. Everything that you've been through before, it kind of drops off. It kind of drops off like you've healed now. Okay, this is you starting a new cycle in a, in a whole new frame of mind and a whole new balance of your emotions. Okay, and feeling that freedom from it all and just feeling radiant. I love this energy for you guys. Um, lunar beauty. I embody beauty as the moon shows a new face every night. I show new facets of my beauty every day. I place no limits on myself. And that's how you feel. You feel free. You don't feel weighed down from burdens. You don't feel stressed out. You don't feel worried. Like that's what spirit does for you internally. Okay. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I place no limits on myself. My inner beauty shines like the full moon. And that's what it is. Your inner beauty is shining. You're very radiant here. <laughs> yes, you're very radiant. And everybody is seeing that. It's giving me, um, you know, like the a goddess of the moon kind of energy. Internal garden was on the bottom of the deck. I take time to tend my internal garden. I spend inten intentional time in meditation and self-care to cultivate my soul within myself. I grow the fruit I eat for sustenance. So, yeah, this is a change within you, okay, that spirit is bringing to you. Actually, you may even sense your ancestors, passed on loved ones around you very closely, okay, I feel like, too, um, the days of struggles here are over, okay? I feel like a lot of you have been burned when it comes to money situations, love situations, and now I, I'm really getting the sense that the scales are being balanced out for you, and you're about to get the rewards that you want from the universe, okay? You can feel it, and they're, they're really helping you heal here, okay? Yeah, you've had nothing but struggles financially. Some of you have been looking for a new home. Some of you were like um, kind of really put down and left out in the cold. Um, and other people knew that you were in a time of struggle, okay? 
This is financial struggles, maybe not knowing where you were, you know, not having another place to go, not knowing where to turn. Okay, you could be trying to take care of kids, right? Um, your children. You've be, you've been trying to get by on the te, on the five of pentacles, and spirit is saying that's just not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. We need to we need to give the uh, we need to give the water signs. I almost called you collective. We need to give the water signs six more pentacles. Okay, let's bump that up to eleven. <laughs> that's um, abundance and having um, and having a, a new beginning. Okay, this is what they want for you. And I feel like new love is going to be coming in as well. You're about to get like a huge pay raise. You could be getting um, a lot of success in your job. I feel like your money's going to be um, at least kind of doubled uh, by the end of June. Okay, maybe mid-June. And you're about to meet somebody new as well. Yeah, because I feel like you've been, you've been having a lot of anxiety about money. Yeah, look, wish fulfillment for you. Ten of Cups energy. This is how you're going to be feeling. And in this energy, I'm telling you, all of these blessings come in. I'm seeing one right after another. Boom, 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 boom. Coming in for you in June. Okay. Wow. This is like a rebirth here as well. This is wish fulfillment, a happy home. You know, you may, you may get the money that you need to make a house move as well. But something comes in for you. And it's just what you waited for. And it's coming in in the nick of time. It is. This comes in for you in the nick of time. And it's it's. It's exactly what you've been waiting for, what you've needed, okay? Yes, and possibly new love, like I said, new love. I feel like somebody's going to be upset about this, um, that you're moving on or having this awesome victory. This could also be, I feel like you're moving. You're, you have the ability to move forward in June, and there's someone that you're leaving behind here that's angry about it. They're watching you. They're watching whatever you're putting out there on social media. This person is spying on you, okay? Finding out. Maybe they're looking for where you live. You, you could already be planning a house move. And they want to try to find your address. I feel like you don't want this person back. You don't want this person back in your life. You want forward movement. Yeah, see, you're turning your back on this person and you're walking away from them. Yes, you are. But they're seeing you as wish fulfillment, just like everybody else that you encounter in June, okay? Oh, you are turning heads in June, I am telling you. Um, everyone is attracted to this energy. You may notice too, um, it may already be starting like animals coming towards you. Um, children just wanting to like, you know, talk to you or play with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, like you're, um, especially those, the, the innocent souls, the innocent souls just want to be around you. Okay. And everyone else is like super attracted to your energy. Yeah, you're just happy. You're just giving off these positive vibrations everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Yeah, and you're getting wish fulfillment here. And you're getting new love. I feel like you're um you're about to meet a new soulmate. Yeah, you've and you've been manifesting someone in who's going to give you emotional fulfillment. Yeah, this is someone new. Uh, thank you, Spirit. That's a huge confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, you are about to meet someone new. This could be a water sign. Okay, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're, the, if you're a water sign masculine, you may be meeting um, 
a another earth angel. I feel like I feel like these are um, divine beings being brought together. Either either your real divine masculine divine feminine or a displaced divine masculine divine feminine take it how it resonates but this is someone new yes this could um this new person could possibly be in the public eye they could even be in the same line of business that you're in this could be somebody who has been through their own journey their own battle Okay, and they're coming out victorious, you're coming out victorious. This is a really good energetic match for you. Okay, and I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing that this, um, yeah, this is, you two could bump right into each other. Okay, you really could. You're both having a victory in life. You're both independent. You've both learned your lessons from the last cycle. You're both wanting to move on. This is someone who's perfectly aligned for you energetically, okay? And it's either, I feel, your real twin flame or a displaced divine counterpart, okay? If that makes sense. <clears throat> and it's not your person from your past. This is definitely someone new. Your past person is going to be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. What do I do? What do I say? That indecision, that um, being out of balance, right? Maybe looking for a perfect opportunity still to come towards you, but that opportunity is now blocked, okay? Because I think you have a new soulmate coming into the picture that's now blocking them from coming forward, okay? So this is where your future kind of takes over now okay yes yeah they've got competition yeah they're not going to be able to compete either because they haven't been they haven't even been talking to you they'd ha they this person from your past they would have to start at like square one okay um and this you have a history of pain with this person like they really put you through it. I feel like they put you through a three of swords, a broken heart, betrayal, possibly a third party situation, you know, and they're wondering what they can say to come back from that now. And this person is seeing they're they're going to find out that they've got some competition coming in and there's no way to compete because this new person is stable, grounded, having a victory, they've got their life together, and they haven't broken your heart. You know, this person has, they're thinking there's no way they'll be able to get your trust back. And how are they gonna be able to get you back that quickly and compete with someone when they already have this, I'm hearing, there's bad blood. Um, uh, it's a song, but I don't know who sings it. So let me know if you know that. Yeah, and this person made you wait. They underestimated you. They treated you um, maybe like you weren't enough. They could have uh, they could have been, you know, thinking they were better than you somehow. They were very immature. You know, uh, they could have just wanted some playtime or something like that. I feel like this person put you in a third party sacrificed you in that third party and left you feeling used and then made you wait while they turn their back possibly for years yeah they know it how are they gonna come back from that <laughs> especially if you have someone new that's ready for love that's done the work on themselves and who doesn't plan on hurting you and who happens to be like wish fulfillment they can't compete. And Spirit says, this is fair. This is fair. Um, water signs get to move on. You know, you're, you're putting all of that pain behind you. Yep, and that's true. It's fair. You've waited long enough for this person. And now Spirit is sending you in new love that's more suitable for you at the energy level that you're in. Okay? 
Like, seriously, you get, you and this new person are going to be a perfect match. Okay, it, you are. You really, really are. And they're going to be able to be loving with you. They're going to show you that love. Okay, so this is, you're getting the kind of love that you deserve here. The kind of love that's going to make you truly happy. Or you will be happy together. Do you see what I'm saying? And this person from your past, they have to carry the burdens of knowing that you're the one that got away. You know, feeling heartbroken over you now because now they can't come back in. But they did too much to hurt you. And not enough to make things right. I feel like they did nothing, okay, to make anything right. So spirits like, well, then carry those burdens, and that's fair. This is basically karma for your person. Yep, they're going to be stuck. They can't come towards you now. Not at not once you get this new love in your life. That'll be it. They're not going to be able to compete with this new person. They're, and they're going to be unable to stop thinking about you. They're not going to be able to get over you. You know, this kind of energy with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, this kind of energy is knowing, knowing that in the future, they'll still be thinking about you. You know, this is like gut-wrenching. I want to go to the collect, I want to go to the water signs, the collective water signs, but I can't now. You know, they're going to be feeling that the rest of their days. Yeah, all kinds of stressed out. Look at this. Yeah, because you are going to be off limits to this person. You will be off limits to this person. Um, I feel like once you meet this new person, and I feel like you're meeting them in June, yes, you'll have your boundaries up big time then. And I feel like you're going to be protecting your new love that was sent to you from the divine. And this person, you know, they're going to be envious, jealous. They're going to have to look at their own toxicity. They're going to have to look at the things that they've done um, that they didn't ever really take accountability for. They never gave you an apology. And I feel like you're done, you're done thinking about this person. Spirit kind of like erases the pain from this person away in June. You start looking at life in a whole new way, M much happier, much more excited for new things. I feel like spirit like really um, speeds up your healing process in June. Okay. And then this new love comes in. So, yeah, you've healed. Yep, Empress, and this is you attracting the attention of so many people. Oh, in a big, big way. Look at this. Yes. And that's when spirit, like, announces you to the world. I'm feeling, like, red carpet energy, you know, um, uh, announcing the water sign collective, the empress, dun, 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 you know what I mean? And you're walking down that red carpet. Everybody's no, going to be noticing you in June. Everybody's going to want a chance with you in June. Um, you're going to be meeting new love in June. Okay. This person from your past, they're going to be wanting you and an excruciating pain in June. Realizing they can't have you. Okay, realizing they really can't even come towards you now. All right, so, yeah, wow. <sighs> wow. Yeah, everybody is going to be, like, hot for you in June. Okay, that's what this is. Everyone's going to be hot for you in June. And, and spirit literally, it, it's almost like spirit energetically announces you when you when you go anywhere everybody's going to be staring at you in june oh water signs yes i love you guys <laughs> um let's see what advice okay i feel like you're just to shine in june that's your advice just shine 
keep your vibrations high, right? Allow the divine to do this for you internally. Um, it's going to be a huge emotional lift. Um, spiritually, you're going to be feeling so connected to the spirit. Yeah. Yep. They're bringing you through the, like, the finishing end of your healing process um, from the past, okay? This is, this is the be truly the beginning of your new cycle. Yep, and there you are. Yep. You're leaving the past behind very easily, all right? And Spirit's going to be celebrating you, bringing in blessings for you. Look at this. Love, money, success. A lot of attention. Yep, and this is happening in June. Some of, um, if, if you're a Cancer, you're having a birthday in June, right? Maybe. I know for me, my birthday's in June. So, <laughs> happy birthday. Yep, and new love comes in. A new door opens. And love comes in. Somebody who's going to be honest with you. Somebody who's going to tell you the truth. Okay, it's your time to shine. I'm telling you, look, new love. New love. Rushing into your life. Now, this is this person. I feel like um, it's, it's going to, it may move fast. Okay, I feel like this person is going to meet you and they're going to know exactly what they want. Right, but take your time. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna move. Want to move really fast with you? They're gonna know that it's you that they want. Yeah, I, I just feel like everybody wants to be around you, in June. Okay. You may be even getting a couple of different love offers here in June, so use your intuition and your discernment. Right. But yeah, you will be free from the pains from the past, okay? You'll be going through a, an incredible change, and you'll feel so lifted. You'll feel so lifted in June. I love this energy for you, water signs. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.